Okay, hi everybody and welcome to this month's topic of holiday extravaganza. So what I decided to do for this topic was to do um, creative and inexpensive wrapping of presents with um, things that you can do with your toddler. So in the video, I just, I Pinterested a bunch of stuff. It's not my, my own ideas, but I just Pinterested a bunch of stuff and I tried them out. Um, I tried them out while Fia wasn't here, so she's not gonna be helping in the video. Believe me, it's much faster that way. But um, they're all definitely things that you can do with your toddler. And um, what we usually do every year is Fia will um, do art or whatever and we'll save it throughout the year and then we'll just wrap all the gifts in that. So that's a really easy, fun way to um, wrap gifts. Another thing that we like to do is just, which I show in the video, but I kind of, um, did a really sloppy job. All of it's kind of sloppy, so don't judge me. It's because I was doing it really quickly. And, and we have a new car. And we have a new car. Oh, she's saying we have a new car, which we don't. But um, my father. In anyway, it's a whole thing. My father-in-law is maybe getting us. I don't know. Anyways, it's a weird. But we, we have, have a new car. car. Anyways, so, um, yes, so enjoy the video. It's just a but, bunch of wrapping But we gifts. have a new car. You're very on that subject, aren't you? <laughs> car? Oh, okay. You want me to talk and then you're going to talk? Mm -hmm. So, um, it doesn't all look amazing because... Um, so we have a new car and a new car. Because I wanted to, I wanted to do it quickly, and I wanted to use the materials that we have in the house, and they're all just our crafting materials. So I didn't go out and buy anything. Um, so if you do go out and buy stuff, it'll probably be a lot nicer. And, and we have a new car, and I throw the rag away. And the and and the and the casket, and I throw the and uh, the rag away in the casket. You threw the rag away in the trash can? Yeah. Okay. Um, we use rags instead of paper towels. So we, we don't throw them away in the trash can. We just wash them. Anyway, totally off topic. Um, yes. So if you guys have, we have amazing a new car, we ideas, have a new car. Let me know what they are. And I hope you enjoy these. They're very simple, very quick, very um, homemade and um, nothing spectacular, but I liked them because I think it was something I could do with Fia and, oh, she's taking them. What do you want to say? <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next month, bye. So first you're gonna wanna cut the paper to the appropriate size and that would be the length of your toilet paper roll. Now I'm just going to use some glue and glue it onto my toilet paper. I did a messy job, but obviously you can do it nicer and glue it on. And now you just decorate it and then fold the sides under, just like this. So here's my cute little gift box. And obviously, if you have um, better paper or different ribbon or a bow or whatever you want, you can put on there. You can make it all sorts of different ways. This is just one of them, and it was really fast. It took me like three minutes. So. Fun start. I'm just using one of Fia's um, newsprint papers because the directions say to use a thin paper, a rice paper. So I'm going to see if it works with this. And um, and I'm going to accordion fold it because I want stripes. Okay, so now it's an accordion fold. So I'm going to go make a dye bath out of just using a um, baking pan and some water. And I'm going to add some red food coloring to the color I want it to be. Now I'm just going to dip the paper, the long sides of the paper, which I need two hands for, into the food bath like this. So it's soaking up the dye, so I'm going to stop. So I did it too long and that's what I got, so I'm going to try again with this piece. Just because I'm curious, I'm going to dip the other side in green. Okay, so it's all dipped and now I'm going to hang it to dry. So here it is drying and I think it turned out really pretty and it'll be a really nice wrapping paper. Obviously it would be different if you used white paper. Um, it'd be more vibrant, I think. I didn't have any white paper, but I like kind of the brown paper bag look anyway. So I thought this turned out really nice. And we'll try wrapping something with it later. So the next one I'm going to do, we did last year, which is basically 
you just make a snowflake and then you attach it to your present as the um, decoration. Make the snowflake. You first fold your paper like this, and then you cut off the bottom so your paper is the bottom. Now I'm gonna just fold this over here, and now you're gonna try to fold your paper kind of into thirds, so it's like that, and then you bring this whole thing over. Then you're gonna want to cut these little things off the bottom, so it cut right here. Now you have this. Now we're gonna just cut this up like Here's a snowflake. Here's how I cut mine. It's gonna come out a little lopsided because I used really thick paper and I didn't see how these aren't folded right. But this is a general idea. If you use really thin paper and sharp scissors, it'll work much better. So let's unfold so it. So here is my lopsided snowflake that I can now put on a gift. Okay, so the next one is another kind of DIY um, wrapping paper. So first I'm gonna cut up this paper cut bag. the bottom, so I now have this nice long strip. And what I'm gonna do now is, this is Fia's little rolling pin. You should probably use a big one. That's what the instructions say to use, but this is all I have. So. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cover it with um, paper so that it doesn't get too dirty. Okay, and it's all covered and taped on, so I'm gonna wrap the rubber bands around it to give it an interesting so in keeping with the holiday theme, I'm gonna use some red paint. So I'm just gonna put some paint on a cookie sheet and I'm using just tempera washable paint because that's all I have. I'm trying, really trying to use only things that you would have around your house, especially if you have kids. So. Um, yeah, so here's some paint, and I'm going to spread it on this sheet. So we'll see if this is enough. And now I'm just going to roll this in there to get it onto the rubber bands. Okay, and I'm just going to roll this down the sheet. We'll see how it works. So here it is all printed. Obviously, if you use a higher quality paint, it'll, um, it'll be darker and nicer. But I actually think this is really cool, especially once it's going to be wrapped around a gift. So you could also add more colors. So the next easy thing I found was just to use some buttons and they used waxed, what was it, like waxed twine, but I have this small little ribbon so I'm going to use that because that's all I got that will fit in the buttons. And to make um, kind of like button bows, I'll show you one that I found that I liked. Okay, so I strung the buttons and then I put them on this wrapping paper that I made earlier and it actually looks really cute, so like a little ribbon or a tag bow would be really cute on this on this present so that's another way you can jazz up your presents very inexpensively so here's a gift wrapped with that other wrapping paper i made i didn't really smooth it out before i wrapped it because i'm just kind of doing this quickly but i think it looks really cool um it's kind of plain right now it needs like a ribbon or maybe i can put that snowflake on top of it but let me try that okay so i added the little um what do you call that thing <laughs> snowflake so like I said, these um, are going to be pretty lame at this point because I'm just doing it really quickly and not using the correct materials, but it kind of gives you an idea. We did this a lot last year with the snowflakes actually. We um, pasted them on onto Alfia's artwork and we put that onto the um, presents and it looked really nice. So this is out of construction paper, so it's kind of thick and messy, but if you make it out of thinner paper, it actually looks really, really nice. So there's another idea. Okay, well thank you for getting all the way through the video. I hope it gave you some ideas. And like I said, if you guys have any ideas, put them down below because I always need ideas. I am not crafty at all. I always have to look things up, but I like to do crafts. So if you have any ideas, if there's a certain way you guys like to wrap your gifts, let us know. Another one that I really liked is that you can wrap it in cloth. And we did that last year too. You are trying to take my camera. But, uh, so yeah, say bye. Say bye. What's on your face? What is that? Can you say bye? Shh, Ash is sleeping. Ash is sleeping. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye, camera. Okay, you want to hold it and say bye? No, I'm talking it. Okay, talk to it. Everybody dizzy. Bye. Okay, bye everybody. No. no. Okay, then you need to say bye right now. No, I want to talk. Okay, talk. Um, and we have, but I want to talk all by myself. Okay. And we have a new car. Why do you need to do that? I need to take your hand off the camera. There you go. Well, I want it on.
Okay, you guys, say bye now. No, I'm tired. Bye, guys.